Happy New Year guys. In this video, we want to briefly explain how our moon may have formed. Now back to my daughter, she will continue. Formation of the moon, giant impact theory. This is the most accepted theory by many astronomers. The theory states that the moon formed from a collision between the early earth and a rocky body called Thea, front runner among the explanations. However, the details around how it may have happened are still blurry, and there are many observations that scientists are struggling to explain. Important! What does a theory mean in science? A theory in science is a carefully thought out explanation for observations of the natural world. Scientific method, which brings together many facts and hypotheses. Now back to our moon. Recently, a new study was published in Nature Geoscience, solving one of the biggest mysteries surrounding the impact and why the moon was nearly identical to the Earth. According to the giant impact theory, Thea was smaller than planet Mars and smashed into the developing Earth 4.5 billion years ago. This collision produced enough heat to create magma oceans and ejected a lot of debris into orbit around the Earth which subsequently coalesced into the moon. The theory explains the way and the speed which the Earth and the moon spin around each other. They are tidally locked, which means that the moon is always showing the same side towards the Earth. The Chinese landed their Chang'e 4 spacecraft on the far side of the moon in 2019. Direct communications with that side are never possible from the Earth. The composition of Earth and its moon are nearly identical. Primary differences are that the moon has less iron and less of the lighter elements such as hydrogen which are needed to produce water. Giant impact theory explains a heavy element like iron would have been retained on Earth. Similarly, heat from the impact and the ejection into space would have boiled the lighter elements off while the rest of the material of Earth and Thea would have mixed. Computer models have reproduced the events that led to the formation of the moon. The models have that best fit all the observations suggest that the moon should be composed by approximately 80% from the material originating from Thea. So why is the moon suspiciously like Earth? One explanation is that Thea and the early Earth must have had an identical composition to start with. This is highly unlikely, because every documented planet in our solar system has their own unique composition, and with slight differences reflecting due to, due to their distance from the sun. Another explanation is that the mixing of the two bodies was much more thorough than anticipated, leaving a less clear signature of Thea in the moon. But that is also unlikely, as it would require a much larger impact than the one that took place. Scientists digging deep resolved this dilemma by showing that the Earth and the Moon aren't as similar as previously thought. Researchers looked with very high precision at the distribution of isotopes of the element oxygen in rocks returned from the Moon by the Apollo astronauts. Fun fact! In chemistry, any element's atomic nucleus is made up of particles known as protons and neutrons. Isotopes of an element have the same number of protons in the nucleus as the regular version, but different numbers of neutrons. In the moon scenario, oxygen's isotope, 018, which has 8 protons and 10 neutrons, is slightly heavier than the much more common 016 with its 8 protons and 8 neutrons. The study shows that there is a small difference between the Earth and the moon in their oxygen isotope composition. Their profiles aren't identical after all. Another interesting observation was that the difference increases when you look at rocks from the moon's mantle. The mantle is a layer below the surface or crust, having more lighter oxygen isotopes than the Earth. This is important. The crust is where mixed debris would have ended up, whereas the deep interior would have more bits of Thea. Therefore, Thea and Earth weren't identical, and the moon and the Earth aren't identical either. But the results also teach us uh, just a bit more about Thea itself. Because of gravity, one may expect slightly more of the heavier isotopes closer to the sun. Compared to Earth, Thea must have had more of the lighter oxygen isotopes, which su suggests that it would have formed farther away from the sun than the Earth. 
With the results from this study, the giant impact theory has crossed another hurdle in explaining the formation of our moon, and we have learned a little more about Thea itself on the way. I hope you liked the explanation of how moon may have formed. Please share this video with family and friends because only by sharing others can learn. Subscribe, like and click the notification bell. Cheers and bye.